Good morning. Good morning and good morning. And welcome to Barbados on Kadumut Day. Definitely a different way of celebrating Kadumut Day today for sure. Just like last year, quiet. No one's doing anything at all. Everybody's been hopefully, hopefully behaving themselves. I saw a few parties in the beaches yesterday that did not really look as though they should have been happening. And, you know, hopefully nothing happens out of that. You know, good morning to all of you all. We are the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Ragged Point, east coast of the island. This is where we actually are on the east point of it itself. I'm going to take you a little closer to the lighthouse. We're not doing actual lighthouse area today. Um, we're doing some cliffs in here. Just to let you know that yesterday I explored all of these cliffs from right down at Palmetto Bay, the entire way up to here. Um, I did lots of walking yesterday. They're beautiful sceneries just like this, but it sort of is just like this. It doesn't change at all between those locations. There are a couple of little tufts and small areas of um, beaches in between or sand that's built up. Um, they're just seasonal, of course. You see some lovely blow holes in the cliff there. Very small, but still coming through nicely. Um, that's how it is from here right around the Palmetto Bay. So we won't be covering that type of the coastline or that area of the coastline because it's sort of like the same thing um, on top of each other. Look at the crack in that cliff and approximately halfway in the camera. So you would know that sometime in the future, I don't know how distant future, that will be in the water. I'm actually standing on one of those points right now, so it feels a little bit eerie. I'm going to back off here and I'll let you see where we are. But before I do that, let us get back over here. Uh, the sun is perfectly filtered right now by natural filtration, by, this, by the beautiful low cloud. You can see the rays coming off of it. I think it is a perfect, perfect setting for our serenity prayer. So let's go with that. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful morning. They said before it's a bank holiday in Barbados, so that doesn't make any difference to us at the EMC. We just have an off day, which is Sunday. And yesterday, as you know, I was out doing some scouting. Um, this is the roughest, I would say the roughest terrain that I have walked on any time in this island. That's in St. Philip. This coral up here is razor sharp. And there's real no clear cut path, as you can see. So we're doing a little hopping, skipping and jumping across here now. Obviously doing it slowly and carefully until we get to our next location, which is a little bit smoother, but it still is going to be a rough morning. So that's why I was recommending. Well, I said two by twos or four by fours, but to be real honest with you, this area deserves some four by fours. It is extremely sharp. You're stepping on areas that would destroy running shoes. If you had on any shoes like with memory foam and stuff, they'd be done after you come over here. There's no question about that. This thing is razor, razor sharp. So I'm just going to take my time, as you can appreciate. I have to be very careful out here, but I will show you some of the areas surrounding us right now. It's beautiful lighting right now. All the greens are lush. Everything is perfect. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm going to do it quietly because we got some little grass canaries and stuff out here that you may hear. So let's enjoy the peace of the morning, except for my footsteps. But here we go. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I came over that coral this morning, but we're not going to go back that way. Because as I said, there's not really much to see besides the cliff and stuff, but we're going to work our way to the next location. So we're going to take you better worn path. I see the have of people on the way to the airport are at the airport right now. So I guess you'll be in Barbados from tonight. And from later on this week, you'll be exploring. Hopefully you will give me a shout when you get here on the rock, because it would be nice to have you all walk with me. Unfortunately, I don't have the facilities to collect people and take them anywhere. Um, I don't have that type of commercial vehicle. And as the EMC likes to stay above board, we won't be doing that. If you do have a rental vehicle and you want to go somewhere in particular, just give me a shout. Let's arrange it. If you um, just want to walk to your beach, your hotel, just give me a shout. Let's see what we can do. Beautiful morning. Absolutely stunning. There's still some remnants of ash and stuff around on the cliff here because you can appreciate it's oral coral. So no matter how much rain we have here, it will just settle back in the same location again. So there are a couple of patches that you will see. 
you can't see anywhere in the grass and stuff. All I can say is this island is the lushest and the most beautiful that I have probably ever seen it. And I'm not gonna say it hasn't been as beautiful, but not more beautiful than this. Right now it is perfect conditions. So orgasm is disappearing slowly but surely. See some little traces of it coming in, but nothing too big. Remember I put up some uh, high resolution videos yesterday for you on YouTube, didn't put them on Facebook. Uh, one is of the Long Beach area. We did some sounds up there for you. I also did some, um, a cave that's in the area of Paragon, which is just uh, by Gemswick. And I also combined the two uh, lives from yesterday and put them into one. So if you're bored today, please have a look around and check some of the videos that we have up there for you. Beautiful. You'll find little catchments of water like this here along St. Philip area. As you know, it's all flat and it's all coral. There's very little surface soil up here in St. Philip. Very little. That's why you don't see as much foliage and stuff around properties um, because obviously you'd have to bring in mud and stuff because there's really no mud up here in St. Philip at all. You can just go a little bit down and you found the foundation. You can see that from the cliffs of Ragged Point, how no soil is really on top of the cliff itself. People catch your breath. But before I go down there, I just want to show you this here. You can do some research on it. We talked the other day about the clouds in Barbados, how they contribute to cooling the world. That is, uh, There is a documentary. I'll see if I can find a link to it for you. But this is the spot that we do all our observations from. To get here from Raggy Point, you really can't do it because you have to come across someone's property there. As you can see, the walled. Um, I know that um, one of the walls was taken down, but there's still another one there. Um, they have a gate in it, but I don't see the gate open. I tried yesterday and the gate was closed. Um, so I, I don't think you can get from Raggy Point to here. I would just drive around here. It is, um, I'll put a little note on the ma map for you of how to get to this actual location. You have to get on some pretty rough road. As you can see there, it gets very rough. Um, but you can't make it in a car. You just have to take your time and be gentle. Beautiful, beautiful coastline. I'm going to take you somewhere that is a little treat. I don't know. I know a lot of you have seen Raggy Point before. Some of you may have been on this cliff, but I'm not sure if many of you have actually gone where I'm going to take you this morning. I want to come here for sunrise, but I said what I'd like to do is rather do the cliff first and then go where we're going to go so that you can really truly enjoy it and appreciate it. We're going to do some above cliff views here, and then we do some midway cliff views for you. Now, I talked to you about a seasonal beach up here at Raggy Point. This is the best place to show you from. That is it. Now, in summertime, you will find beach here. A nice size beach, too. Not too bad. When I say a nice size, not, not in like South Coast, the West Coast, but more sand than that. It is a lowish tide now, so you're seeing it at um, its best today. But that um, beach, we surf actually down there. It's called Raggy Point, the actual break. And we surf there. We work our way down, go strapped down onto the beach, and we surf off here. It's a really powerful and sometimes deadly surf break. And not only bodyboarders like me, but actual surfers. We have uh, Kelly Slater on, was on the front of a magazine um, dropping in on a wave out here. So it does get really good in the right conditions for sure. Ragged Point's just gone through a full restoration. Um, I believe they're opening a restaurant or a bar or something in the lower section of it. Um, as far as I know, I don't know if that will materialize, but I know they were discussing that. Um, so that is a possibility going forward. As you all know, there is a, a cafe or bar close to here, just as you're going to Raggy Point. However, that is presently closed. I don't know what the situation is at for future. All of our radars here for the Coast Guard, etc., located on the strategic point of the east. I'm not sure if you can make it on this resolution, but I can see the furthest point of the island, just, just very faded. Um, the only distance that will be Gaze Cove or Cove Bay. I call it both names because some people are offended when they don't use the correct name on it. However, over the years, I adopted a name called Cove Bay. So that is why I stick with. But I will put in the other original name of it um, just for those who may remember the original name that was used. All this terrain out here is nothing but razor sharp coral. So you can appreciate if you're coming up here and you're doing any stroll on these cliffs, which is beautiful, by the way. Um, yesterday was just blown away, but it just sort of like, you know, it's the same thing over and over and over. It's not something really worth to walk 30 minutes on to bring a video or 20 minutes on to bring a video. But just have a look at the sharpness of this coral. This will give you an indication of the razor sharpness that I'm talking about. And these are little jutted edges all over. All right, I'm going to switch hands now. So hopefully we don't lose anything or whatever. Now where I am going, the signal does drop. But I did get two bars yesterday, so I'm hoping that we don't lose the signal. But if we do lose the signal, 
please remember just to stay on. We will come back. I won't be disconnecting, or if I do connect, disconnect, I will then come back later on just to show you what I'm going down. In case you've never done it, do not come down here unless you're sturdy, please. Because the going down might be easy. The coming up is certainly not easy at all. So we can do some descending here now, just to let you see what how steep it is actually. I am using right hand here, of course, just for stabilization because it's pretty steep. And I don't want to be pitching myself down here, rolling down into the sea. That's for sure. Hopefully you're still getting a signal. I'm trying to make my way through this section here as quick as possible. If you have never seen here, you're going to be in for a treat. Because this is the real view of Fall Bay itself. Sorry, not of Fall Bay, what am I talking about? Of Ragged Point. My apologies on that. Studying these steps and not studying what I'm saying. Alright, here we go. Spectacular scenery. Just beautiful. I'm not finished yet. We're going to look further out. Just wanted you to see what here looked like on this plateau. Let me catch my breath as well. <laughs> so a second. Here we go again. All right. Very popular for fishermen out here. Um, you see all of the PVC tubings and stuff. I tried to research this yesterday to find out what this metal structure was. It, it looks like it was a base of a crane at one time here. And I know for sure that um, boats used to go in at the crane by the crane itself and offload from there. So I'm assuming because of the depth of this bay here as well. Historians, please correct me or let us know. Um, I assume there was a cliff, um, there was a cliff crane somewhere in this area as well. So you all can let me know anybody who knows for sure because I couldn't find anything yesterday on it. I really didn't spend the whole day looking at it, but I surely did have a look. You know, this is where we're taking you on to the most scenic lookout point here at this side of the island. Yeah, a little stumble there. All right, get ready. As you can see, it's just cliffs. Beautiful, beautiful cliffs up here. Spectacular scenery. I don't even know if I use my word stunning today, but I'm going to use it right now for sure if I've used it before. Forgive me, you all know already how I am. Love to use that word because anything associated with Barbados is nothing but stunning. And you can see it's lovely to be here at the actual low tide because we're able to see a lot more of the rock formations, especially the shallow reefs that are coming out. That we wouldn't normally see. Just to give you an uh, indication of what your surroundings look like, this is where we're walking across. Check all the fishing poles. You can imagine up here is very popular for fishing. You've probably seen these steps when you're at Ragged Point looking um, to the southeast. Uh, however, this is it. You can access this point here. But just be careful, please. It's, it's definitely steep and there's lots of uneven surfaces out here. So when you're coming out here, just be wary of what you're doing for me. Um, I'm going to give you a 360 from this point here. We're going to see a little bit. I'll give you a 270 because we're going to see a lot of coral on the inside. So it doesn't make sense in sticking on that for well. But we will come around slowly. Here we go. No filtration of that sun right now. Just blinding and beautiful. Alright, that was a 270. That was a lot easier than a 360, man, let me tell you. <laughs> you know, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Let me add another one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Just amazing scenery all over this island. When you think you've exhausted your areas to go, that's when Barbados tells you, you haven't even started yet. We have not really started yet. We haven't done a lot of the East Coast. We haven't done any Northern sections, any live videos. We did one at Animal Flower Cave, but I'm talking about the actual cliffs itself. We will be taking in all them in the coming future. And we also know we'll be doing a lot of hiking and stuff as well, um, because Ryan has asked me um, to go out with him. And I want to go out with him actually. I'm probably gonna push him a little bit because I'm getting fitter now. So I know yesterday he was in the ocean training at Soup Bowl and High Rock and Parlor. So I guess he's getting ready for me as I'm getting ready for him. You know, people, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning. Just stunning sceneries. I know here is many nighttime fishing, so we're lucky to get this point by ourselves this morning. 
and what a blessing. Just look at the rays coming across the water from that gorgeous sun. See swells today a lot smaller than they normally are in this area. Um, yes, thanks. Someone just actually mentioned that. What a strange thing. Um, very, very calm on this side right now. Um, winds are a little bit lighter as well, which allows us to do a lot more um, listening to the actual ocean itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of seconds here of nothing but listening to the ocean. I'll get onto a little lower elevation here for you so we can get as close to the water as possible so you can actually get a sensation of being on the water. Just give me a second. We're going to work our way down here gingerly. The closest beach to here is that beach in there, so I really don't want to swim over this dark, 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 dark water, not without a mask and a spare gun. All right, you'll see the lower cliffs here as well. I've actually seen guys down there on that at low tide fishing. Um, I don't know what difference would be down there, but I have seen people underneath that shelf before. Uh, they have a lot of thrill seekers out here, and people who have their vantage points. I've also seen people scale across that cliff section there and go and fish from that point as well. You can see a, a white PVC tube in there, so you can appreciate they go there as well. I don't know where else you want to go that's more peaceful and more beautiful than this. But as I said, I'm going to keep quiet for a minute, let you all enjoy the sea, and then I'll come back to you. You know, folks, happy Kadumant Day to all of you um, that have ever come here and partied on Kadumant Day. You would know the kind of memories. Actually, for me, I don't remember many Kadumant Days. I remember the start of the day, but I just don't remember anything after that, to be honest with you. Um, nowadays, I remember everything, but in those days, I couldn't remember anything at all. Like whether I behaved or misbehaved, I behaved in one way or another. Good behavior or bad behavior is still behaving. That was always my excuse in those days. You know, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area just so serene and peaceful once again no one in sight no i don't think i have to tell you how i adore early mornings at this time because it is peace that you don't get at any other time of the day i don't care if there are no people out here the days and sounds start to come up and you start to lose what you're getting right now Have a great day, everyone, and as always, go forward today, be peaceful with everyone around you. Give them a smile. Remember, your eyes also show smiles, even if you have on a mask and you look at someone and smile. Or you can do it this morning yourself. Get in front of the mirror, put on your mask and smile and watch your eyes. You can actually see your eyes smile as well. And that is the beauty. That actually is the way to your soul, not through your eyes. So you can make someone's day today for sure. Someone who doesn't have anyone to care for them. Someone that probably doesn't know what tomorrow is going to bring for them. Someone that's in doubts in life and don't have a clue where to go, where to turn. Feels as though um, they're lost completely in life and, and have no way of resolving it. You can put a smile on your face today and bring a whole set of joy to them. So remember everyone, spread the peace, spread the love. That's what EMC is all about. Make sure that when you see anyone today, that you leave an impression with them. If they don't like the impression you leave with them, that is entirely up to them. But you will have the joy and the freedom of being able to enjoy your day. And I'm just going to show you these steps again from the other angle to give you an indication of how steep they are, actually. And we're going to probably just go up in that direction as well, so you can have a look and see. But just remember, folks, that you can make a difference to so many people, and it will make a difference to you. You smile, you will feel it. You will actually feel happy and warm and loving and caring. And we're going back up again and we're doing some climbing, sort of. All right. Switching some hands, so technical movements. But it's actually a stunning, stunning area. And I think that these steps going up here are as pretty as anything as well. It is creativity. You imagine, you imagine these being built years and years ago. People coming here and putting this sod stone along this cliff to make these steps. You imagine the difficulty. I mean, these sod stones are so heavy. And to come and place them on this cliff, and then these actual steps 
have been cut. Put the face of coral stone has been put, but they have actually been cut in the cliff itself. Beautiful. So let's go back up, see if we can get one more higher elevation where we can do an actual 360. Ryan, you can hear you not breathing hard at all, buddy. I get ready for you. Glad I said that halfway out. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful East Point, the Barbados Ragged Point. I'm going to give you your 360 now, but before I do that, check this sky. All right, folks, here we go. Enjoy. Well, that 360 was simple because I want to catch my breath. <laughs> so I guess I may not be as ready for Ryan as Ryan is ready for me. Anyhow, we will see you later this week. Folks, have a fantastic day. Can't bring anything more beautiful than this. It's totally different to what we've been seeing normally, but that is what I want to share with you. I want to show you how Barbados differs from coast to coast. How when you think you've seen Barbados, <laughs> even if you've been here 20, 30, 40 times, I will guarantee you, I will show you somewhere you have not seen. Whether I've done so already, or whether it's done in the future, I can guarantee you that. These places, not this one, but some of these places I haven't done for 45 plus years. The caves that I put up yesterday on YouTube, up at uh, Paragon, which is just by Gemswick, I haven't been there since I was 16 years old, in that cave. And I went there yesterday, and it felt as though I had been there the day before. I remember everything about it. That's the power of the mind. Have a fantastic day. I leave you with the blessings of a new day. I hope you all have a safe, happy, loving, kind and caring day. See you all later.